My clients here were four and not even born. I'm Sarah and I'm four years old and this is my bedroom. As most four-year-old girls would tell you, they would like their room to be pink. My favorite color is purple and pink and my room is pink. I find the biggest mistake people make in doing kids' rooms and nurseries is they buy furniture for children. I don't see why you have to buy a small dresser because you want this dresser to fit their clothes throughout their childhood. And they also buy things that convert, like cribs that convert into beds. But typically, by the time they're out of the crib, you want to get them that new big girl or big boy bed. And I think you should just buy the furniture you envision them having right through all their childhood. Every little girl needs a beautiful light. I think it's a great opportunity to get almost like a piece of jewelry into the room. We're bringing a little luxury into the four-year-old's room too with a pretty tool canopy. You typically see these canopies hung above beds, but I think it's much more fun to put it where they can sneak away and read a little story or play with their dolls. So we have it in the corner where Sarah likes to sit in her comfy chair. I like to do nurseries in two ways. I like them to be calm and I want them to last. I don't want our clients to spend all this time and investment in a room that they just have to change again in three or four years. We started off with the butterfly fabric. It was one that I've always loved. It has these great blues, golds, creams. I could see wrapping this room in a real vanilla color that would last for many years, even when the fabric may eventually change. The client loved the star wallpaper. It's a classic. It made sense to throw it up on the ceiling because it's stars. And it's something fun for the baby to look at. It's not too stimulating, so she still sleeps. Every nursery has to have a great chair. I do like to pick a chair that swivels and glides, but that doesn't look like it swivels and glides. So you can use it in the family room someday. You can use it in this child's room as they're a teenager, and it doesn't feel like it was their nursery rocker. I love the gallery wall above the crib. And some people say, I don't hang anything above the crib. The baby's just gonna grab it. But you know, I don't like to shove furniture up against a wall anyway. So I pull the crib out. We bought some vintage frames. We got these cute, cute prints from Indigo. And then my favorite element was, we just happened to have a frame that had no glass in it and needed that one special element. And the client pulled out this gold baby moccasin and we nailed it straight to the wall. It looks adorable. My very discerning four-year-old client seems quite pleased with her bedroom. My favorite thing is the thing in my room. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. My mother did try her best, and I will say my Holly Hobby wallpaper bedroom was quite lovely. But I have to say, I really wish my mom had invested in some gorgeous drapes and blinds like these two girls have. 